Today, I'm going to be going over eight of the worst pieces of equipment that you could be crafting in Rise of Kingdoms. What's going on, guys? Cheers. Now, I got the idea for this video when I posted my other video talking about my biggest mistakes in Rise of Kingdoms. Okay, if you guys missed it, go ahead and check it out. But you guys seem to enjoy that video. But one of the comments that stood out to me, and a lot of you guys had this, was about Shio's return because this was one of the regrets that I talked about in that video. And some of you guys said, Hey, on the arc, thank you for that tip. I was gonna craft Shio's return, and now I know not to because the frost treads give you half a stat less or half a percent less. Okay, when you get the special talent and you save a ton of materials okay so a little pro tip there if you didn't watch the previous video but you should go ahead and watch it after this regardless a lot of people said thank you for that but also some people were saying hey i wish i watched this video before i crafted shio's return and brother i'm with you okay i'm with you i crafted this myself it's shamefully on my guan and to the one guy who commented on that video saying uh ah, i got a special talent and she was returned you should you should get one to like listen pal okay no showing off okay most of us are not going to get the talent on Shio's return so it's not worth risking it okay but this gave me the idea that hey there's probably a lot of other pieces of equipment that you guys are saving up for that are they're trash they're not good okay so i did i've compiled eight of them and there it's in no specific order except the last one the last one is actual garbage and, and we're gonna get to that okay but mostly it's in no particular order and without further ado we're gonna start with shadow legions retribution and the reason is because not only does this piece look sick it's it's trash okay and it's misleading it's a little bait and switch okay they're like oh look at this shiny cool black and gold looking badass and then boom all attack really all attack points for 60 legendary mats that's what you're getting with shadow legions retribution if you're a cavalry player okay and you're thinking about crafting this consider dark lord's blessing will give you 10 and a half percent of cavalry defense and i know some of you with attila takeda you want a ton of attacks that i get that okay i get that but really shadow legions retribution is not the way it is not the way use dark lord's blessing for now and then after a while you're going to be able to get the heavy armor of the hellish wasteland and this gives you health this gives you cavalry health which i know it, it may not deal as much damage to the enemy but you're going to get better trades you're going to i'm telling you and not only that but you're also going to get the set bonuses okay and again this is harder to get i understand that i i get that it's harder to get the fragments to a legendary set piece than it is to just get shadow lead retribution you could just get this out of a, a, a crystal chest i was lucky or maybe unlucky uh to get this myself i have two of them okay and did i just use a fuck that was not scripted i literally oh my god oh my god dude okay anyway you see what i'm saying okay fuck shadow legion retribution it's not worth the 60 legendary mats okay just save up use dark lord's blessing suck it up save up and hopefully eventually you'll get the hellish wasteland chess piece okay moving on to number two on the list is going to be ian's choice okay ian's choice eight percent archer attack now here's the thing not only not only is there also an archer set that gives you almost the same but you get the set bonuses which hello obviously a better choice again i understand harder to get these fragments i get it but also hear me out archers have the revival set okay and this archer the gloves the revival gauntlets are going to give you like six percent archer attack okay which you know yes that's less than the eight percent archer attack here but you're also getting the set bonus okay you're getting the two and the four piece set bonus why are you getting this because it's easy to get the set bonus for epic equipment legendary stuff you craft like once every couple months if you're lucky so why on earth would you craft ian's choice when you can get the set piece and it's just so much cheaper it's just so much cheaper i know again i know that it's slightly less attack but if you get the two b's bonus it's actually more attack if you have the talent here right in fact ian okay you've made a poor choice my my son my lad okay you should have chose the revival gauntlets in fact because while these do look kind of cool these look like the gloves out of like a fable game or something like that if you guys have played fable you're you're an og you're a real one okay let's move on to number three on the list which is also a pair of gloves and it's basically the infantry version of ian's choice which is sacred grips we have eight percent infantry defense which okay infantry defense a good stat right a good stat again the set piece gives you the same stat slightly less but you get set bonuses which is way better okay way better still again harder to get th these pieces i understand that but if you look at seth's brutality seth's brutality actually gives you more stats 
than than the epic uh than the revival gauntlets right because the revival is a set so you get extra built-in stats here so to make up for it they actually just made the epic pieces give you slightly more here okay so you're really going to get like seven and a half percent with the talent on seth's brutality okay so that means with the talent seth's brutality gives you the same amount of defense okay as the legendary set piece half a percent less than sacred grips but guess what sacred grips is is 40 legendary materials in what world would okay Lilith must have just heard me talking shit okay what's going on today why am, why is there so many issues in what world is 40 legendary materials worth half a percent okay like what the chance you're gonna get a talent on these L listen guys you're not okay just don't get the sacred grips just go for the sets brutality get the talent here and you save a ton of materials baby you save a ton of them you're welcome let's move on to number four on the list that's gonna bring us down to the waste section here we're gonna be talking about legs now okay we're talking about cape of the war god this is basically like the leg version of shadow legions retribution except it's for archers and we're getting all attack here all attack across the board continuing the trend the set piece here gives you the same stat slightly less but you get the bonus so again obviously better to go for the set piece again it's also harder to get i get that but also let's take a look at what do you know the revival greaves ladies and gentlemen if you get the talent on these you're getting like what 10 percent of stats and it's archer defense okay whereas here you're getting yes two percent more but it's attack and here you get this set bonus okay and this is the trend with archers is it, it becomes really difficult to justify upgrading from the revival set especially as a low spender free to play or even medium spender sometimes like why would you like it's it's, it's so expensive to get the the to get the gear that would justify replacing the revival set okay so there's no point in getting cape of the war god i don't think you're getting so much attack here it makes no sense if you're building archers go revival set save you some money boo boo okay look at this look at the 60 materials are you kidding me 60 and also this was a blueprint that we got from the lucerne scrolls we have to pay for this well oh, come on can't you give us can't you give us a blueprint that's actually good okay can't if we're gonna pay for it and grind for it right because that's basically the battle pass model all right that's what lucerne scrolls is don't let me no, don't think you fooled me okay it's basically a battle pass i gotta do all these uh, you know quests over the course of a few weeks at least give me like a set piece or something like that make it like cool or whatever not not this this is trash this is like this is bloat equipment okay yes it looks cool and it's got a badass name all right but it's not worth it at least i don't think so if you know a good use for cape of the war god drop it in the comments section below and with that being said let's move on to number five on the list number five brings us to the boots category and no we're not going to talk about shio's return okay that was a freebie that you guys already got we're going to be talking about the commander's boots okay commander's boots is the last piece of archer equipment we're going to be talking about in this video and it's for similar reasons okay first of all um it's actually worse than than the other archer pieces to, to go for commander's boots because here you're getting eight percent attack with the flame treads you can get with the talent seven and a half percent of health health is a harder to get stat it's more premium okay the archers need the health they do all right they really do so flame treads it's half a percent of the stats less but it's health which is way better than the commander's boots okay so commander's boots 40 materials 40 legendary materials are you kidding me not worth it not only would i argue that the flame treads are legitimately a better piece but they're way cheaper they're way cheaper you get the talent on there and you are good to go baby don't even look at the commander's boots don't even consider these as an option and the part that sucks is i know some of you guys probably have have crafted these i'm sure you have the commander experience gain really lilith you thought that was gonna spice up the offer a little bit you thought that was gonna that was gonna add some some flair to the offer there like ooh, maybe they'll maybe they'll get it for the commander experience gain really on a legendary piece are you serious total trash commander boots don't go for these archer players just don't stick with your revival set and the flame treads and you are good to go okay equipment piece number six is gonna bring us to the weapon category okay and don't get me started about these 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 weapons here these level 50 weapons okay these are we're, we're not even gonna talk about them okay because most of you guys don't even know that they're in the game that's how hard it is to get those but we're gonna be talking about the shield of the eternal empire okay this is an infantry piece and let me tell you it is not worth it 
it is not worth it this motherfucker costs 90 legendary materials 90 holy shit dude 90 legendary materials are you kidding me you can craft legendary gloves and legendary boots for 80 materials okay so 90 for the shield is one thing that's insane it gives you all attack also not worth it okay i understand that it's part of a set i get that okay but the max thing that you get here is attack again an, a stat that it's just not that useful for infantry also if you look at the sakura you can actually get upwards of 17 percent infantry attack with the special talent so yes it's three percent less but look dude look at how many materials you need for this it's not worth it it's not worth it and finally to make things worse on every level you shouldn't even be getting the sakura fubuki because the blue shield is better that's the joke here the joke here is that the gatekeeper shield will give you 10 and a half percent infantry health which is the best stat for infantry so in pretty much every scenario except for home kingdom basically the gatekeeper shield will outperform the sakura fubuki okay and if it's better than the sakura fubuki then it's is probably almost as good if not as good as the shield of the eternal empire and this is a blue piece it's a blue piece it's so easy to get dude it's so easy this is the best piece of infantry weaponry it really it's so good okay it's so good if you're in home kingdom consider the talent on the sakura but other than that if you're in kvk and you have kvk tech and all that stuff gatekeeper shield for sure do not consider this embarrassing piece of infantry attack 20 come on man come on man the only way that this is worth it is if you get the talent and you have the rest of the set okay and that is only worth it if you're a mega 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 kraken a, not even a whale a kraken in this game okay so don't consider the shield of the eternal empire for 99 percent of you guys watching it's embarrassing how not worth it this is for your average player moving on to number seven and this is going to be the first accessory we talk about here we're going to be talking about seth's call okay now this was one of the pieces that i was less passionate about adding to this list okay but i felt that it was important to at least add one thing in each category okay and some of these categories we've mentioned multiple things but i wanted to put at least one accessory here and i think seth's call is the weakest link okay and i know that some of these others you don't really see too much the coin is kind of a meme right but the thing about the coin is that you know you could actually use the coin on guan okay if you have an expertise guan you, you can use the coin and the thing is that a lot of people have expertise guan okay so at least those players would have a use for the coin okay it's decent for him but the thing about seth's call is you have a 10 percent chance of it triggering which is low okay if you look at something like the dagger it's a 30 percent chance right so already you have a, a lower chance than other pieces in the same category right you're also increasing attack now you do have the possibility of increasing your attack and two allies so it's a total of 30 percent increased attack which is nice however the problem with this is that in kvk there's already a lot of attack right there's already a lot of attack and the chance of it popping is relatively low but really what makes this so difficult and such a big pill to swallow is that we're talking about 100 legendary materials for seth's call and on top of that there's so many good accessories in this game already you've got the ring of doom you've got the horn of fury you've got the concealed dagger i'm gonna e even go as far as to say mora's reb is really a great piece okay there's plenty of good uses for things like vengeance and also greatest glory when you have uh, commanders like uh, attila takeda and pakal herald right these are good commanders that could use these pieces uh, but when it comes to seth's call it's like yeah is 30 percent increased attack good sure I, I would say that is that is good but you're in the most competitive category i don't know maybe i'm missing something but i think seth's call is the weakest link here that's just my opinion even when you look at silent trial or delane's amulet okay these are some pieces that they're epics okay they're epics and reducing target rage is really good okay it's really good you might as well do a silent trial hill you could even get a talented silent trial if you've been playing long enough to get enough of these holiday bundles okay uh, you could have the talent like i have on my martel so seth's call for a hundred legendary materials is just to me not really worth it and finally number eight on this list of the worst pieces of equipment you could be crafting lives in the weapon category and it is none other than the trial of the lost kingdom now here's the deal 
okay the trial of the lost kingdom has a single use and i'm gonna talk about that in a little bit okay but here's the deal with trial of the lost kingdom okay this gives you but primarily you would be interested in this if you are a a cavalry player or you're garrisoning a mixed flag or fortress let's take a look here 15% cavalry defense, 5% infantry health, 5% on attack. Okay. Infantry health. Great. Sure. Cavalry defense, whatever. Let's take a look now at the heart of the saint. You will notice a similar stat breakdown. However, you can get a special talent on heart of the saint much easier than you can get a special talent on trial of the lost kingdom. Why? Because you can only, you can only get the blueprint once. So you can't even recreate, you can't even like, like, am I missing something? Am I wrong here? Is there another way to get you? You can, you can only you either you get it or you don't. And that's it. Your account can only get one of these. So not only is it guaranteed that you'll eventually get the talent on heart of the saint, you're actually going to get more stats on heart of the saint, and you're going to be getting archer health instead of archer attack, which I think is better. Okay. So you're literally getting more stats of better stats and not only that this is 45 legendary materials which is the lowest in the weapon tier but for good reason it's a trash weapon okay it's a trash weapon and to make everything worse to make it the worst piece that i'm talking about in this video you need to spend a hundred dollars on it that's right the only way to get this is to spend a hundred dollars and you can only get the choice to buy it for hundred dollars if you've got yourself to vip 16. so what's the point what's the point of trial of the lost kingdom this piece is absolute dog shit. okay it's absolute trash it's expensive it's worse than a talented epic you can't even like refine it i don't think is there a way to get more blueprints of this i don't think they thought that through okay how do you get a talented trial of the lost kingdom i don't even know you got to just get lucky on the one forge like it's just it's it's a mess okay this this piece this weapon is an absolute mess and it costs a hundred dollars for it now that leads me to be, to believe that there is one use for trial of the lost kingdom and that is for mega whales who well up to vip 18 at the beginning of a server that is the only time that you're going to be getting travel of lost kingdom is if you're wailing for kvk one and you have no better options and you haven't gotten enough blueprints to get a special talent on heart of the saint that's the only time that i can even conceive somebody using this so don't buy the bundle okay just don't buy the bundle it's it's just not worth it for a hundred dollars it's it's just not worth it boys and with that being said drop a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it if you found it useful entertaining or whatever drop a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace